Welcome back to an episode of the Joe's Garage. So today we're gonna to talk about a really quick and easy mod that you can do that costs probably less than $10 and probably will take you about 15 minutes to do if you have any sort of arts and crafts skill. So I have the clear engine cover off that I absolutely adore. And what I'm thinking about doing here are these support arms here. I have put a piece of vinyl adhesive uh, to do a test to see. I've driven the car, I've gotten it up to 190 degrees, uh, drove it around a bunch of times. It did not do anything to melt this, to warp this, to do anything to it. This was just a test piece. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put a strip of this all the way across here up to that arm we're actually to that uh, bracket, I should say. And it'll just add a little bit of flare. Now it's a bright red, but when you put it on, it actually darkens up and looks almost identical to the engine red that I've used, uh, similar to like an edge red. Uh, I think it might look really nice. I also have some vinyl decaling letters that say Corvette or Stingray or stuff like that. Maybe I'll put that on there to just dress this up, engine bay up a little bit. Uh, so let's see how that goes. I'll give you the measurements as far as how far you should measure it. Um, you can undo these bolts. However, there is still a round area that's uh, raised where this screw goes in. So you're gonna have to cut around it anyway. So I may just slice it off here and then right at the bracket here and just have a piece go across and I'll make a little uh, hole right here with a razor blade. All right, so I'm gonna peel off the test vinyl that I have here. And it is in really good shape. I mean, it didn't even get distorted, it's still sticky. I'm gonna clean up these uh, support braces here uh, before I stick this on. I'm also gonna do it using a little bit of soap and water. You can use a baby shampoo because it's vinyl and then squeegee it out either with your fingers just so that you don't get any bubbles that'll look like that. So when you do it that way, it'll look really good. All right, so measuring the distance from this bracket all the way to this screw is almost exactly 18 inches. It's probably 1 16th shy. Comes in a roll 12 inches by, I think they have like five foot, 10 foot rolls, etc. like this. Um, I actually used it also. I cut a piece out that was about, I think, five or six inches by about an inch and a half and inserted that where it says Team Corvette. That's in another video of mine, check that out. Um, because you can see that in your front windshield. All right. All right, so when you're making these holes, you know, map out where you want them. You can actually use a highlighter and you can just mark around the highlighter, the circle, etc., etc., and then just take an X-Acto knife, cut that out, and you're good to go. Also, to get that off, if there's any residue left, just use a little bit of rubbing alcohol. All right, so I'm just gonna clean up. This is a little bit of soap and water just to give a little extra, make sure there's not a lot of extra dust, because believe it or not, there's dust that collects in this engine bay if you drive the car. All right, I've also got a handy dandy little squeegee here if I need it. This is actually, I'm recycling this. This is the Screen Protect, by the way, which is a really good product for uh, protecting your dashboard screen or your infotainment screen. I'm using that right now, got it pretty good. I don't like this little thing here, so I'm actually going to cut this away. This little section right there. Just make a little room for that round tab right there. And I'm going to cut this. Before I start squeezing all the air out, I'm going to make a little round hole. Right about here where that all right so that's what it looks like it actually looks really nice um it matches the engine cover of the manifold cover and uh i think it looks pretty good and if you don't like it you take it off it just peels right off all right guys so i didn't like how it looked when it was wrapped over but i decided to make a very thin top piece like this and on this one i actually cut out the two holes that are going to go right there. I'll show you how I did that. Uh, I feel like that just looks cleaner. It looks nicer. It just goes with everything a little bit better. So I'm going to install it now. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and peel off 
the adhesive, or I should say the backing for the adhesive. I'm gonna give this a little light spray with the soapy water just so I can position it a little bit better. And that looks really good. Once you get it all lined up. All right, so once that's lined up, which I appear to be having some trouble doing right now, probably because I'm holding a phone while I do it. That looks really good. I'll show you when it's all cleaned up after I squeegee out some of that water. All right, guys, so it's the next morning and I let everything cure, got all the bubbles out, everything looks really good. I think it looks really nice. It's a nice touch to the edge of the bay. It just gives a little extra something, costs maybe a couple bucks. I like it. Comment below what you think. Like, share, subscribe. All right, there it is with the clear cover back on. Thanks to James White again. I think it looks freaking awesome. Check that out. It looks just really clean, but yet a little extra flair. I don't know. What do you guys think?